archers, gunners, slingers, all potential problems if you come up against them on the battlefield. However, this simple tactic will render all of these units utterly useless in the right situation. It's quite a simple one and if you've watched my channel you've probably seen me do this a lot, but nonetheless, let's have a look. So my almighty greenskin army does approach the empire opponent in front of me. And like many of your opponents that you'll come across in the old world, or the new world, or any kind of world, they will have some kind of missile unit that will gun you down before you even reach the fight. And as my angry greenskin army isn't really looking for a missile skirmish as we don't have any missile units, we're going to need to find a way to disrupt those missiles, simply so I can protect some of my stronger melee units. Enter speedy, extremely mobile units like these goblin wolf riders. Not the strongest unit in the world, but that's completely fine. They're fast, that's all we need. I'm just using them to get near to the missile units to take advantage of their skirmish mechanic to make them run away. As their range is about here, I don't want them firing on my melee infantry when they come into range, so the more I can keep them moving around and running and not staying still setting up to fire, the better, even if it costs me my goblin wolf riders. As they're pretty cheap, it's all good. So they're kind of a sacrifice, you can see these empire knights getting after them now, but I've been making all their missile units run around all over the place unable to fire because they're always skirmishing. See this unit's just set up, it's starting to fire on my orc boys, which we simply cannot allow. So I'm going to issue an order for my goblin wolf riders to get these handgunners. You can see they're running away, now they're not firing. Even though the goblin wolf riders aren't really close to them, it's forcing them to skirmish away because of that skirmish mechanic. So we're kind of exploiting it in a way, and it means that they won't be able to fire, we're just going to keep them moving. And then by the time they get a chance to settle down, my army's on top of them like it is now. And then they've only got this short distance which they could fire, but they're not going to have much time because my army is here. So we've stopped all the missiles firing on my army as we move up and once we've engaged the enemy won't really be able to fire at us too much because they'll probably be shooting their own units in the back. So we can keep trying to harass those units, get after them, get those missile units just running around from their skirmish even if we don't kill them. If we kill the rest of the army and then all that's left is missiles, it's a surefire win. A couple more examples for you, high elves here, lots of strong missile units in their army, vampires, literally no missile units at all, but we do have bats, the flying kind, not the baseball kind, although Crypt Horrors with Baseball Bats, that is a unit I want to see. But for now we'll have to make do with our Fell Bats who are a very mobile flying unit of course, who mostly serve to harass and mess up the hairdos of any nearby missile units, including any kind of artillery. So by the time your main army comes into what would be the cone of vision of the missile units, said missile units will be too busy slapping bats away from their own faces, so your army can move up unscathed and free from any unwanted missile fire. And I suppose this is slightly different than the Goblin Wolf Rider thing where we're just trying to push the units around making them run around. That's more of a light cavalry thing I guess. With flying units because you can go straight over all other units it's easy to actually get into the unit and actually attack them to stop them from firing. So it's kind of similar but also slightly different because we are going directly into the unit. So we can just tie them up until we can get some proper units to absolutely knock the shyster out of them like these Blood Knights here. Now a final one with the Chaos here just to show a few more things you can do. You may come up against an army that looks something like this online or maybe even in the campaign. It has seven units of missile units which is utterly ridiculous and two of them are Deepwood Scouts so they can run and fire at the same time which can be a problem for this sort of tactic if you're using slower units. But pretty much any kind of unit can really do this even if it's a, a slow cheapy melee infantry they can still just run after them to get them moving. So using the chariot there, using Colec there, got this Manticore flying units again another great choice to do it with. Warhounds are of course a great choice, any kind of cavalry, even the slower ones, but quicker ones are better obviously because you can close that gap so the missiles don't shoot at you too much. And you can see very little missile fire is going on, this Manticore should be attacking that unit that's firing at it, seems to be ignoring his order, there he goes finally. But yeah, very little missile fire going down and my army is just about to be upon the enemy, one unit there is taking a bit of fire but they're not too bad, they're only Chaos Marauders anyway. But my main units, my Chaos Warriors, are in good condition, ready to destroy the army. Kolek down the bottom there, he's a great unit to do this with because he's such high mass, he can just charge through anything, get after those missiles, keep them moving, even if he doesn't stay there for very long, because spears might be chasing him, he might have to keep on the move, but if he can keep smashing units in the face and keep them on the move, he's doing his job. So like I said, it's a very, very simple tactic, but honestly, it's one of the most effective ones I think there is. It's basically taking the weapon away from the unit. If you took the swords away from a swordsman unit, they're going to be utterly useless. We're taking the bows away from the archers, they become useless. So understand that even if you can't physically attack the unit, chasing them around and keeping them moving is useful in the interim. I hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. You know when I'll see you.